Hi friends, I am Dr. Sharma and I will be giving a talk on what is the role of flush therapy in the management of renal colic. The objective of this talk is to describe what is flush therapy and to provide a scientific basis for not using it. What is flush therapy? It is an attempt to flush the ureteral calculus by forced diuresis. Traditionally, a flush therapy is given by giving one or two IV points followed by an injection of furosemide in an attempt to flush the ureteric calculus out of the collecting system. Why no flush therapy? It has been proved beyond doubt now that there is no scientific evidence to show the efficacy of any form of flush therapy. Why this is so? For this we need to understand what happens during colic and common sense says that during colic there is obstruction. Now during the first two hours the renal blood flow increases and the renal pelvic pressures are high and sometimes as high as up to 75 millimeters of mercury. Over the next four hours the renal blood flow steadies and then it starts to decline but the renal pelvic pressures are still high. After six hours the renal pelvic pressure start to decline and sometimes it takes about 18 hours or even more for the renal pelvic pressures to normalize. Now because of this rise in the renal pelvic pressures there are certain functional effects that tend to occur. First of all there is decrease in the urine production, there is decrease in the concentrating ability and there is decrease in the excreting ability. So friends when an IV point is given and an injection of furosemide is given the obstructed kidney itself is not producing much urine. It is not excreting much urine and in fact whatever diuresis is occurring is occurring from the opposite kidney. So now it is very easy to understand why there should be no flush therapy. This is because the obstructed kidney is producing and excreting less urine. Somebody may argue that one can try a flush therapy after say 48 hours when the renal pelvic pressures have normalized. Even in that scenario this will not be useful because it will not produce an effective peristalsis. What I mean by effective peristalsis is that for a stone to be expelled out of the ureter, the ureteric walls need to coapt well to produce good effective peristalsis to throw it out of the system. Now if the kidneys is having absolutely normal pelvic pressure and is having good diuresis, then by giving a forced diuresis you are having a continuous column of urine from the stone till the renal pelvis which means that the ureteric walls cannot coapt well with each other and thus there won't be any effective peristalsis. So in conclusion friends, flush therapy is not useful during colic and it should not be given. Thank you. For further such talks please log on to admedonline.com